I got this Vivitar lens for free. Uh, it's a camera lens. And I thought I can make a telescope with it or it's a kind of like finder scope. And uh, this one and a quarter 25 millimeter eyepiece doesn't go exactly on it, but uh, anyway, with a little bit of tape, sticky tape, I could fix it into it. And I must say that it's actually <laughs> it's a telescope, you can use it like a telescope. And the only thing is that you have to turn this ring to come to focus. So, quite interesting. <laughs> I may be able to even attach a star diagonal, <laughs> use it like a, a expensive uh, viewfinder, anyway. This is Japanese style at the moment, so it's quite nice. I'm holding the telescope by one hand, the other hand I'm holding the uh, camera. The rear view is much sharper than that, no chromatic aberration, but here you can see a little bit chromatic aberration. Probably that's because of the lens of the uh, mobile camera is adding that. And yeah, you can see the chemtrail from the airplanes, you can see the oak leaves. So, uh, I have to focus it, I cannot focus because uh, I don't have a third hand. Uh, when I use this telescope with a normal eye, without a you know, camera or anything, it's like an apochromatic telescope. <laughs> it's a multiple lens system, so it's definitely doing something to eliminate the false color. And uh, that's it, that works as a... Uh, it's a soligo by the way, it's a Vivitra. 200 millimeter and uh, divided by 25 of 200 divided by 25 is giving a magnification of 8 so that's practically a, a telescope of uh, 62 by 8 62 times 8 62 is the aperture as you can see here and uh, 8 minutes to my eye when I was holding it with both hands and adjusting on the targets close or far, it was color free, no aberration. So practically it's the upper chromat. <laughs> I got an upper chromat telescope for nothing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> when I say the scenes uh, and the views through this is so delightful, so clean. Um, usually when you use any binocular you see purple fringing. I don't see any purple fringing. That uh, video I showed you just <laughs> introduced the, if there is any aberration is introduced by the camera, the mobile phone camera lens. Uh, when you, you view it by normal eye, no, no chromatic aberration, no, no uh, spherical aberration, center to the edge is all clear. It's such a delightful view, bright image. And because this is a lens uh, for camera, it has a diaphragm inside it. This diaphragm can work as a baffle to stop the astray lights. At the same time, it can work to change the F number, which is actually the purpose of it. So you can have a very long uh, tube with this if you use the lower F number. Like a um, longer, longer, yeah, longer uh, F number telescope planetary practically we should see and I have now uh, find this little diagonal prism diagonal for camera I may be able to use it for this also 